Hello everyone and welcome back to the Book of Knowledge. I know it's been a minute, but there's been a lot going on. Stick around at the end of this video for an announcement and let's get into it. So this video is going to be a bit different. Instead of just giving you information straight out of the book, we're going to take the concepts in the book and show you how they manifest in the real world. Today we're going to talk more about the letter M and the word stem M-A-R. We're also going to talk about the true meaning of Romeo and Juliet. That's really pretty interesting. So, uh... Let's just get started. First of all, if you're new here, you can go back and watch my videos, Jesus, the letter M, and the reflections in the miracles, and also L is for Mars, V is for Venus, the gods of love and violence. And those will explain what I'm talking about in this video. So, okay, here we go. The word stem M-A-R holds the duality of fertility and destruction. This is why Mars is the god of love and war. In the month that starts the season of spring or fertility is March. The word stem Mar can represent Mars, but the word stem Mar can also represent water like marine. We've talked before about how the symbols for Mars are the sword, the letter L, and fire. With this in mind, we also see the duality of fire and water in the word stem Mar. We've also talked about the letter M and how it represents magic, manipulation, misinformation, basically hiding the true meaning of the letter. So looking again at the god Mars, you take the M and you turn it upside down because Mars is the god of wars. Now we've gone over that, but now let's take that M and turn it back upside down again and move it further down in the word and you get arms which is a word for weapons that are used to fight wars. And this brings us to Marines, which is the branch of the military that fights wars overseas. Now, with all this in mind, take a look at the logo for the Army Special Forces. Now you can see the sword representing Mars, and you can also see the V representing Venus. Again, this is the L and the V, which represents the people you would die for or the people you would kill, because this is the military protecting our country and killing our enemies. And remember, army, again, is Mar with the M moved and a Y added to the end. So again, we see Mar representing Mars and Venus. And keep in mind, since we're talking about the military, that a soldier is a soul dyer, or someone who dies for the sun, or is a sun sacrifice. But that's a subject for a different video. So, let's keep going. Now, the reason for that segment wasn't just to show you the words M, M, A, R. It was also to show you how the letter M flips around and moves and molds itself and hides itself and manifests itself in different ways. Which brings us to Romeo and Juliet, a story about two lovers from feuding families that can't have each other because their families kill each other, which is not what that story is about at all. So let's get started. Now we're going to dive really deeply into this in the second book. So what I'm going to do right now is just, I'm going to show you what Romeo and Juliet is about. Just using the title, Romeo and Juliet. So let's take a look at the characters. We have Romeo Montague and we have Juliet Capulet. Okay, so let's look at Romeo first. First thing we know is 
The letter O at the end of a word or name is usually signifying masculinity. So the name Romeo is really Rome with an O on the end. Or you could say Roman man. And now we have the last name Montague. So starting with the letter M, first of all, we have to manipulate or move it. So let's turn it upside down. Secondly, the letter G can be pronounced two ways, hard or soft. So let's assume it's pronounced soft. Now we have the Roman man wants a Jew. Now let's look at the name Juliet with the suffix et meaning female. Leia or Lei is a reference to the goddess and Jew is a Jewish person. So we have the Roman man wants the Jewish girl. What's her last name? Capulet. So she wants the Catholic. So we have a Roman Catholic who's in love with a Jewish girl. So people who understand this language understand this book is about not feuding families. It's about opposing religions. And in the time of Shakespeare, inter-religious marriages were super taboo. So this book goes under the radar and people who understand, understand. And everyone else is left in the dark. All right, if you're new here, Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, tell your friends, share this video, all of that, oop de whoop I'm wasting my breath, it's okay. So that brings us to our announcement. Um, this channel is not going to be what it used to be. This channel is going to be more like this video here today. It's going to be more about showing examples and explaining what's taught in the other videos. Also, we'll watch some other videos and talk about how they're relevant to the subject and how people discover things they don't realize they're discovering and crossing their research with other people's research and showing how it all fits together. Um, we'll be talking more about what I mean by magic and mind control and It'll be fun, it's just going to be a little bit different. Videos that come straight from the book with uh, more detailed information, those videos are going to be on Rumble. Also, I've just built an entire new sound studio, editing bay, podcast studio, so that's something that I've been working on, so our quality is about to get better. I'm still trash at video editing, but, you know, whatever. I'd love to get me a video editor, but, I mean, what am I going to do? Send them all these files? They're going to be like, what? So, I'd love to get some help with video editing, but I don't know how. I don't know who. We'll get to it eventually. But, uh, that's it.